Hello, Americans and Patriots. How are you doing? Christian Francis the like. Well, the, tr the quote I said, Trump has immunity. Some immunity. Not 100% immunity. So, Jack Smith, who tried to bring upon his fake January 6th case, can go on vacation now because, one, he really never had a case to begin with. And his case is now dead anyway. Now, the left is going to have a meltdown of this. Now, they're going to try to spin it well. Trump did get 100% immunity. He's not 100% immune from anything. <coughs> this is the same left that was dancing with joy with Jack Smith. And that's dead. Fanny Wills in Georgia is falling by the wayside. And you have to ask yourself, how many phone calls does Judge Machan in New York City get right now as we approach the January 11th sentencing of those bullshit crimes? As the other cases have been pretty much pushed aside till after Election Day, I cannot imagine how many phone calls Judge Merchan is getting. Now, for people say, well, if Trump gets some immunity, so does Biden. Um, not against treason and sedition. Not for stealing an election, he doesn't. Not for his illegal business decisions selling out America to its foreign enemies. That's treason. Big difference. If they would have had Trump on treason with all this so-called evidence, they would have gotten him years ago after he left office. They wouldn't have waited till uh, he ran for president. I mean, listen, even Governor Cuomo said the only reason why the DA in Manhattan brought this case is because Trump was running for president because even Governor Cuomo, the old governor, the old attorney general said, there is no case here. The feds need to take it. Hey, Cuomo's right. Now, what's Cuomo's both been doing that? Who knows? Maybe he's very bitter towards Alvin Wright. Maybe he's bitter towards everyone who screwed him and pushed him out of office. Maybe he's mad at uh, Hochul. I don't know. Or maybe he's just telling the truth. Who knows? That'd be a first. But, yep, that's big news now. Immunity come for Trump. So, Within the last few days, we've seen the Biden presidency begin to fall apart, his campaign begin to fall apart, and now Trump has been given immunity. Now, the only question is, as the Democrats say, we must save democracy, we must save democracy, are they going to remove, force, uh, take, try to take Joe Biden off the ballot when the entire country of primary said they wanted Joe Biden to be on? Well, there's only a few ways this could happen. They could use the 25th Amendment and say this guy's not comp anymore. Totally illegal. Which Trump predicted years ago. And it would be legit. The problem is, then Kamala Harris would take over. They don't want Kamala Harris either, even though that was Obama's girl about three years ago when they were running. But she's been a disaster. So how do they get rid of her also? This is the big question. So they want to save democracy by imprisoning Biden's main opponent. And now at the same time, they want to take Biden off the ballot, even though the entire Democrat primary wanted Biden to run again for president. This is what we're dealing with, everyone. I've been telling you, it's going to get, it's going to get ugly. And I said June 27th would, would be the first round. This is a surprise second round. We still got July 11th coming. And... And we got 10 more days to that, so who knows what could happen in the next few days. Any what's your opinion? I'd like to know. Comments down below. Like, subscribe. Remember, keep the country in prayer. Jesus Christ is still king. God is still in control. That is who you should be relying on right now. That is who you should be relying on because he's going to get all the glory. Until then, we'll talk to you later.